Hi guys, today I'm going to do another tutorial and this time it's going to be Kokere by Iyanya. So this time I took a different approach to save time. I already have the beat done on a different pattern. So I'm just going to show you the instruments and then send them one by one to the first pattern so you can, you know, see how it's built up. And I'm not going to be playing anything because it takes time to, you know, try to to play everything and figure it out and, you know, quantize it and get it right. The first thing I like to do is to figure out what the tempo is. And I got Spotify open. Yeah, so I usually play it and then go to Fruity Loops and then right click on tempo and choose tap. So while it's playing, I'll try to follow the, the kicks by playing the keyboard and then we will get the tempo. Yeah, so we got a tempo 127 and um, yeah, so I'm just going to go through the instruments i'm going to start from the bottom and show you the different instruments that i have so the first one is um it's a hi-hat a simple hi-hat the second one is another hi-hat and you, as you can see i have them panned a little bit to the right and to the left the third one is a 808 conga and then i have a shaker i have a clap and a snap then i have the kick drum and then I have a snare drum and then I have um, an instrument that I found on Citrus and I have a dry guitar that I use the sound font and what I did is I layered those two sounds I, I, I set these two instruments to a layer channel so every time you play this channel you play these two Yeah, so you get two sounds in one and then I have a a warm pad and I have a synthesizer and then I have a bass line yeah so I'm just going to go to the second pattern where I have the beat I'm going to mute everything and then introduce them one after the other so you hear what it sounds like so i'm just going to play it and then you know add them one after the other so let's go Yeah, so now you have a basic idea of you know what it sounds like and um, I think I should show you what I did with this instrument the conga this is what the sample sounds like but I needed to have like a high one and a low one so I just played it on a keyboard if you go inside and I, it was a G and a C like that so if I solo the instrument I go, you can see what I played. Yeah, so instead of using two samples, I just used the same one and I played it on the keyboard. Yeah, and then for the, for the kick drum, 
this is what the sample sounds like. I had to do it on the the piano roll so I could uh, play with the timing to get the timing very exact because it doesn't follow a regular you know time signature. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, so without much ado, we can try to arrange the beat on the first part. So the first thing we want to do as usual is to um, program our kick drum and it goes like this. And um, the snare, I, I layered these two instruments so it goes like this. Yeah, then I have uh, the shaker. Yeah, and then the next thing is the, the conga. Yeah, I'm just going to copy it from the second pad and then paste it on the first one. And it was a G and a C. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm playing it on the keyboard. If I mute it, this is what it's going to sound like. No. Nope. Yeah, so once you play that, you can record it and then, you know, go in and try to fix the timing and the volume. Yeah, and then for this instrument, it was just random. I just put it in just to make it sound more full. So you can just click here and here and maybe there and do you know hear what it sounds like? Yeah, just, just to make it sound more full. And then... Um... For this instrument, it's a late, there's two sounds in it. One is a dry guitar that I use the sound font to get. And the other one is a synthesizer from, from Citrus. This one is a synthesizer from Citrus. So, yeah, so now I'm, I'm using the keyboard and you play something like this. Yeah, so you know you can record that and then go in and try to fix it. Yeah, so we paste it there and then we have a look at it at what I recorded. And this is what it is. I might want to drag this out a little bit to fill it up. Maybe I should quantize everything a little bit. That didn't help. I'm just trying to drag out the notes so they, they sustain onto the next note. I don't I don't think it sounds good when there's spaces between the notes. Yep, so I'm just gonna copy or select all of these and then drag them out. And um, do the same thing for those notes. And the same thing for these ones. No, just the first three. Yeah, so I'm just going to run through it so you can see what's happening. Yeah, and the next thing we have to do is to add a, a pad. Some kind of, you know, soft instrument. And this one was pretty easy. 
I'm just going to copy it and paste it there and then show you what it is. It's really simple. It's just, this is all it is. Yeah, and it's just there to make the sound a little more full. And then the next instrument we have is um, it's a synthesizer that I got from Citrus. Yeah, and it was a preset and I had to go in and reduce the attack and uh, the delay and the sustain and the re re release. They were all pretty high. So it sounded terrible. So I just had to go in and like put everything down, put everything down and maybe have some. Yeah, so mm. so this is what I came up with. I'm just going to solo it and play it. I should probably drag out these notes so that it sounds full all the time. Yeah, and the last thing is the the bass. Of as usual, I just use the oscillator and I turned up the volume on the third one because that's usually the, the deepest one. And um, yeah, it was pretty simple. I just you know played what I heard in the song and. Um, Yeah, and this is what it, this is what it sounds like. And I actually had to go in and move these ones by hand and I'm not using any quantize. Like I said, um, the snapping to none because the, the rhythm is kind of different. So it took me a lot of while to get it exact. It took me a lot of time, sorry, to get it exact. Yeah, so if I play everything together, this is what it sounds like. And the last the last instrument is the the snare. I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. And um yeah, as you can see, it's um, if you look at it carefully, it's not exactly snapped to the time. So, you know, I had it took a lot of time and I had to go in and move the notes individually to get that rhythm. Or you can play with the keyboard. If you're good at using the keyboard, you can play it or you can take your time and draw it click them in one after the other and you have to make sure that you move the notes around so you get the rhythm like if you see this note is just hanging in the middle of nowhere it's not even touching any line and then sometimes i have to go in and then like click and then make like two random notes after so you get that you know that it's called a triplet or something like that where you have three notes playing in rapid success rapid succession it sounds like this And you can do the same thing for this note, maybe have a second one, then it sounds like this. You know, just randomly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so you just have to try things until you get something that sounds good. And I'm just going to play the whole, the whole beat. <laughs> 